Since I was a kid, I've always dreamed of surfing on the world tour. The long days, the long flights, and long trips were all stepping stones along my path. The thing about surfing is that there will always be a better wave, a better turn, or a better heat. You can't beat the ocean. But that has never kept me from trying. Being a professional surfer, you get into situations where you gotta make sure you handle the pressure. You only have 30 minutes to make sure you catch the two best waves. And if you catch anything that comes through, you're gonna miss the best waves. So uh, I always try to make sure that I stay calm and patient and that I analyze the ocean and that I sit in the right position for the right wave to come. During the heat, it's very important to have the time with you. You gotta be able to analyze those 30 minutes and just split them into phases where I get 10 minutes before I catch my first wave, and then I have 10 to 15 minutes to catch my second wave. And it's there where you gotta make the right decision because of time wise. When you travel, it's really hard to eat healthy because often you're eating at restaurants, and that is why I prefer to stay at a house or in an apartment where there's a kitchen and you can just go to the supermarket and buy whatever you want to eat. Eating healthy is very important and the healthier you eat, the better you will feel and the better you will be able to perform. Often in competitions, it's not the best surfer who wins, but the smartest. There's so many good surfers, but there's only a few that get to the very top. And it's because they understand the game and they understand that it's not only about surfing every day, but it's about training and it's about being mentally strong. Of course it is a dream life, but not everything about it is a dream. I have to be going to bed pretty much every night at 9 o'clock and wake up early and just training and just following a routine. It's a routine that you follow the whole year. That's why I have to make some sacrifices, but I do it with pleasure because it's a dream that's becoming a reality. Every time you lose, you learn from your mistake because you could have done something different throughout those 30 minutes. Everybody's always learning. No matter how good you surf, you can always get better at something. And I think we're all working hard and the next generation will be even better surfers than we are.